Hi, I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're working on our spider web potion bottle. We've also got some cork light so we can light it up to give it that spooky feel at Halloween. So come on and let's get started. On our spider bottle, we're going to use um, gel medium on our bottle. And you can use whatever bottle you want to. Now, I prefer a clear bottle. And we've also got the lights, and we're going to put the light in it so the light shines when the lights are all turned off off the water. And I only had a um, frosted bottle, but I'm going to go ahead and use that. I think that'll be okay. But the one thing that we want to make sure of first is we're going to use a transparent one this time, a see-through one. And I'm using gloss. I, you could use gloss or matte or something in the middle if you wanted to, but it also needs to be thick. And like I said, we don't want the lid on this one. I'm not going to put a candle stand on the bottom of this. You'd do the candle stand the same way. You'd get those at the dollar store for a dollar. Um, if you wanted to, that's totally up to you. One of the things I'm going to do is spray paint just the inside of the bottle just a little bit. And I'm going to do that a little bit later, but you might want to go ahead and do it now just so you get a little bit of black at the top. And then I also did it in my candle stand, just the bottom of that so that you get that blackness. Now, like I said, I'm not going to put one on this. And I've got some items to hold my, um, my bottle still. So you can decide if you, you could stand it up and do it all at one time if you were confident that it wasn't going to touch your table or anything too much. Now what I'm doing it on is putting it on with my finger. You want it kind of thick and what we want are those spider webs. See those nice spider webs? They're not too thick and they're not too thin. And that's going to dry and that's what we're going to see is that part. So I'm going to do the first half of the bottle, let it dry overnight. I'm not going to do the bottom where it stands. And don't be afraid to put it on. You don't want to put it on too thin. We don't want that real thick though. Do at least half the bottle and then let it dry. Now you can kind of see when I'm doing them one direction you're getting them going that way. So you want to kind of turn your finger and have them going both directions. But you want that real real spider webby kind of look to it. That's kind of important. You could use books to hold your bottle still or like I said if you wanted to just stand it up and go ahead and do all of it then that's fine as well we're going to get this done and i'm probably just going to go ahead and do all of this you might want to set like a piece of paper or something underneath it so it doesn't go onto your table but it's going to take it probably overnight to dry or quite a bit of time. Make sure it's really, really dry before we color this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my bottle, let it dry, and then we'll start from there. Because the lid has ridges, I want to kind of show you. We're going to kind of put that a little bit thicker on there. And make sure you do that as well. You don't have to come up to the top, but just get that really well. The reason we're only going to do half at a time here is because we're going to put our spiders in as well. So you want to do that before it starts to dry. I'm going to wipe my hands here. That's why we're going to do the bottle in two parts and lay it one way so the spiders don't slide off as well. And your spiders are any ring spiders that you find. You can usually find them um, like 50 in a bag for a dollar or maybe a little bit more. And they come in different colors. On this one, I did black. But on 
this new one. I think I'm going to do orange just because the orange shows up better. And you can cut these off with your scissors. They're soft enough for your wire cutters, whatever you want to use. Now you want to space them out here and there on the bottle. And you also want to think about what you're going to have on the other half of the bottle. So that's kind of important as well. And I usually take them and I usually put a dab on that just to help them stick a little bit more as I want some at the neck of the gourd and it's okay if their legs kind of get in there but you'd rather try and have them out as much as possible and you put them different directions we want them going all kinds of different directions and different ways so maybe some climbing down and I'm going to do one more over on this other side and that will be my first half of the bottle and we will let it dry. You're going to know when it's completely dry because it's going to uh, be see-through again. You shouldn't have any of the white showing through. Our first layer is all dry but I want to show you what happens when you're using a frosted bottle it still just clears it out so it's not a big deal whether they're frosted or clear so don't worry about that that's going to end up drying clear anyway and you're just going to see your spider lines so now that we have that side dry we're going to go ahead and start our next layer what I want you to kind of think about is there's a spider here and here so you want one about here and kind of match these up to the ones that you have already done and just go ahead and finish that side just like you did the other side continuing to put your spiders on as you go and we'll get that all done and let that dry and we'll start coloring our web now that our texture is all dry, we're going to go ahead and add our spider web lines to this. And for this, I'm going to be using a crayon. And I'm going to use blue violet on this. The other one I use just black. But I like purple and we've got orange spiders, so I wanted this one different than our other one. So I've peeled my paper off and I'm going to break just a big enough piece that I can work with. And I'm going to come in with my heat tool or embossing gun. You use them in the uh, stamping. And we're going to heat our crayon enough where it's melted and we're going to rub it and the lines that are sticking up are going to pick up. So we want to do it till it's shiny. You want a big enough piece that you're not going to heat up your fingers. And you can see that's already melted. And you can see how fast that dries too. So the more melted it is, the easier it goes on. So when it stops going on real easy, we're going to heat it up again. You could use whatever color you want. You may like like the lime green or yellow green, excuse me. Whatever color you want. I just thought this would be a little bit fun with our orange spiders instead of just our black and we're trying to get in these spiders areas a little bit and we're going to do this all the way around the bottle and then once we get it all the way around the bottle I'm just going to come in and heat it just enough that it melts it to set it and it just will turn kind of liquid You don't want to get your spiders because they will melt and we're just going to go ahead and do that all the way around the bottle. 
I'm going to take my bottle outside and I'm going to spray the inside and let it run down with spray paint. If you had purple, you could use the purple. And if you're going to do a stand, spray the bottom of the stand in just a little bit in the inside right there just to give it that spooky look. But I still think even with the purple, we still need that. So I'm going to step outside, just spray that directly in. Don't try to spray it out because you'll get to over spray. And just get that dripping in and then we're going to add just some food coloring and water on the inside. I sprayed that and it looks much better. I also just lifted up the bottom of my bottle and sprayed just the bottom. You don't want that to come around the sides. But see how much better that looks. And once you're done, I just put the little USB cork light in it. And what these are are rechargeable little lights. You just plug them into your computer or any outlet that that fits into and it charge it right up and you just turn them on. And I really like it because when you have the lights off it reflects against the water. I also thought about putting food coloring in the water. Purple would be really cool. Whatever you kind of wanted to do would be really fun as well or black or whatever you wanted but see how adding that black that already gave it that just kind of creepy feel you could also paint the cork black and then you could put the crossbone and skulls on we do have the little molds so that you can make as many of those as you want to and you can even put those on cards those are a real fun little mold as well so there you have your bottle and you've got all your creepy spider webs on it the spray paint that I used for it was just the spray paint that's under a dollar at Walmart so any just inexpensive black spray paint like that and if you also wanted to put the stand on it just glue the top of the stand with the E6000 and stick your bottle onto it and just make sure that it's not one way or the other as far as you want it right in the middle and that will then go ahead and let that dry really well. Thank you for joining me today. If you need any of our little LED cork lights, come on over to MiriamJoy.com and order them today. Have a safe Halloween.